I want you to do me a favor, Girl Scout. Watch some of these high school clips. You notice anything yet? Keep watching. There's a pattern. I want you to keep watching. In case you ain't figured it out yet, let me help you. None of these things you just saw are gonna help you make the team. What's up everybody, it's Trey World, AKA Trey OMG, AKA Coach Trey today. I am the unknown prospect. And what we're gonna be doing is teaching you some drills and skills so you can make your high school basketball team. Let's get into it. I want to clarify about something. I think it's important to be able to shoot, dribble well, and be athletic. All these aspects of the game are important to draw positive attention to yourself as a player, but these things alone won't land you a guaranteed spot on the team. See, shooting deep threes, having the ball in a string every crossover, and dunking on someone every time you come down the paint, they're not the end-all be-all. I mean, sure, you should have some handles, you should be able to knock down shots and you should have decent athleticism, but the skills I'm showing you today will help you make any team that you try out for. This is Damien. He's a high schooler looking to extend his basketball career into college and beyond. I train him along with several other people. We're going to be documenting their progress over the course of the channel, so you probably should get to know who some of them are. Now to get him ready, we have to condition. Being in shape is vital for every basketball player. You should show up to a trial in great shape. You need to be able to run the entire length of the game and learn how to catch your breaks while in the action. That's where these suicides and hill sprints come in handy. Yes, you should be running distance, but balance it with mostly sprints. Basketball is a game of start and stops. You sprint, then break, then sprint again, so on and so forth. For these drills, all you need is a hill and an indoor outdoor court. Now for the suicides, I want you to do what we call a 16 T. 16 touches, half court, and one minute. Take a minute to rest after. Then you have eight half court touches and 30 seconds. With 30 seconds to rest. The four, then four touches with 15 seconds to rest. Then two touches and seven seconds with seven seconds to rest. Repeat the cycle twice. You do this drill two to three times a week before you even touch a basketball and you'll be in great shape come tryouts. Now the next drill is just hill sprints. You're gonna do five sprints total, full speed. Run about 60 to 70 yards up a hill, giving 100% of your energy. Then walk back down. Repeat four more times, two to three times a week. So the next thing every coach would desire in a player is defense. Being in shape and defense have absolutely nothing to do with skill. The players you saw in the beginning of the video, they don't play defense. Why? It's not glorified, and it takes effort. Effort that could be put into scoring. But listen, every team needs players who are willing to do what others want. If you can lock down the best player in the gym, the coach has no choice but to add you to the roster. Due to time, I didn't get a chance to go into full defensive breakdown in this video, but I'm currently working on one so you guys can have content to watch and study for those interested in a fuller look on playing defense. But right now, here are the most important spark notes that you'll need in order to make the team. The last thing I want to show y'all is just what defense, uh, just kind of the defensive stance. So, you know, come on, bro. So he gonna have the ball. Most players cannot go left hand or strictly left. So you gonna take, you gonna sit on that right hand. You gonna get low. So he can't use it. And you gonna cut him off. Not, you're not gonna give him the drive. You are gonna slant directly like this. And when, so go left. And when he go left. You're there. You're there. And that's all he can do. All he can do is go left because you're sitting on that right hand. And that's something a lot of players are not skilled enough to do in high school. Uh, really anywhere. So I say take advantage of that. And doing stuff like hill sprints, suicides, running a mile, jump roping, high intensity training. That's going to get you in shape for that defense. But I'll have another video out specifically about defensive stance, steel techniques, uh, anticipating the ball, all that. 
Yeah, that'll be in another video. The final thing we're gonna develop is our shooting. The art of shooting is evolving. We've gradually migrated to shooting threes as a prerequisite for being an elite player. However, I challenge that. See, the mid-range was a lost art, but now it's dang near extinct. So on this channel, I emphasize its importance. It's usually a better shot selection, easier to rack up points with, and if utilized correctly, can open up counters and opportunities for yourself and your teammates. So what's the first drill? I want you to pick seven spots on the court. It would help for this drill if you had a rebounder, but just expect to get your own balls. Pick seven spots on the court and shoot from that spot until you hit 10 jumpers. I don't care if you miss 400, you need to hit 10 jumpers. Now, once you do that with from seven spots, you should have a total of 70 shots by the time you're done with this drill. So after that drill, you're gonna set up two items, whether they be cones, shoes, rocks, bags, I don't care. Just find two items and place them six to eight feet apart. From the left wing to the left corner, from the left elbow to the right elbow, and from the right corner to the right wing. You're gonna run back and forth between these two items that you have marked, and you're gonna pull up for a jumper. Now this is to emulate running off a screen or catching and shooting without any dribbles. I want you to hit 10 shots in each spot for a total of 30 shots. Now you should be gassed by the end of both these shooting workouts. Afterwards, I want you to hit 10 free throws and for a total of 110 total shots. Now as you progress in your accuracy, I want you to increase the number of shots to 200 makes. This drill and the other ones I mentioned they should be conducted at least two to three times a week if you want to keep seeing progress. I have additional shooting workouts and videos you can refer to if you need more drills. But honestly, it's not really about the drills. It's just about doing it. So finish taking notes on this video and get out there and give me my 110 shots, Girl Scout. So that's the end of the video. It's me, your boy Trey World. AKA Trey OG, AKA Coach Ray. Today on this channel, I'm the Unknown Prospect. I'm here with my young blood. You know, every day is the day that we get better. So make sure you're putting in that work. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video with somebody who might need some help. And without further ado, it's been an Unknown Prospect. And uh, that's game. Oh, that's game. We just gonna end on that.